medical issues, they affect us all. And so, tonight on Second Nature, we'll be recycling some old nature footage. Andrea said you can never give her an orgasm. Well, that doesn't even make sense because she, she has three kids by him. She had three kids, dude. How the fuck? What do you think an orgasm is? An orgasm is when the when the when the egg drops, dude. That's what an orgasm is, is when the egg drops. You're a boy. It's like egg drop soup, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. And this stupid ass troll said, you don't have to have an egg to drop. Yeah, okay, you can have an orgasm without an egg dropping. That's true.
Folks, ladies and gentlemen, Jews and Gentiles, LARPing Muslims, whatever the case may be, welcome, welcome to a Monday night stream. We're going to do a little catch-up of some of Vaughn's latest. Now, Vaughn uh, and crew have decided that they're going to do a lot of their stuff private because they're going to teach everyone a lesson, which kind of defeats the purpose of live streaming. I don't know why they just don't sit in Skype, but anyways, they're going to teach us a lesson. And, of course, J-Dubs then just edits the stream and puts out all the Vaughn hi highlights for us anyway. So if there was any doubt out there, ladies and gentlemen, that J-Dubs is just a... He's one part hype man, one part gaslighter. And he's basically just, you know, doing our work for us. He's putting out the clips. So I'm not really complaining. So we're going to check out some clips, some highlights from their last stream. We got uh, stories of teeth. We've got uh, threats against pagans. We got a little bit of mukbang going on. And on Odyssey, Von Helton gave us another trailer tour. I haven't watched this one yet. It's short. It's four or five minutes. But Von Helton is so proud because he spent a state money to hire other people to come in and sweep and mop the floors. Now, Von, this is a, a great example a perfect example of can't see the forest for the trees because von helden argues the reason his place is messy is because he's disabled and can't look after the family but by pro he doesn't understand that that argument is actually conceding the implication folks is that he can't maintain a healthy environment for the kids the only way he can do that is by hiring other people to come in and do it and, of course, he has no income, so he can't sustain this. This is why they want to come and see how you currently live, Vaughn. Not the clean double wide you're going to move into. They want to see how you live now. But Vaughn Helton can't understand that. But, folks, we're going to get through it. We're here for a good time, not a long time. I'm looking about an hour and a half-ish, something like that. If you could lend me your ear for that long, we're going to have some fun. I know Shani was just live. It was really boring, so I don't think there's anything to really cover there. But uh, we're going to get caught up with the Vaughn. Folks, get your snacks. Get comfortable. Oh, if there's, a lot, if there's a loved one near, hug them. Hold them. Embrace them. Oh, folks. I'm doing it straight from the teat tonight. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right there, folks. Not a sponsor. Thank you for joining once again. Thumbs up, all that stuff, like I just said. Uh, let's start with the trailer tour, folks. We have entered the shit abyss. There's no going back. We'll be right back after these messages. Okay, folks. This is to document. I love the GIF. I love the uh, GIF. My progress. All right, let's look at our date here. We've got November. If I need G-Man. Someone get a hold of G-Man now. I'm sorry, Wilson has just donated $1.99. Hey, J-Dubs. If you really want to do a mukbang that people might be interested in watching, maybe try starting with a 12 gauge. <laughs> in Minecraft. Thank you very much, Wilson, as always. Uh, the 26th at 3.30 in the morning. And so we're documenting it. I had a team of people come in, and as you can see, uh, my bedroom and bathroom is now squared away. And... Uh, very very nice let's go in here and sure and floppy is going to follow me which he always does everything's been put into boxes all the boxes will be gone today and uh it's still a cluttered mess and i can see like leftover fucking scraps of garbage that you, you already had laying like it doesn't look much different 
I mean, really? We're going to get everything out of here. And uh, everything's going to be gone. All these dishes will be gone. Everything's going to be gone. They're coming in to finish today. Those dishes. And those dishes, folks, when we watch old videos, that sink is full of the same fucking dishes. He just said the other, what was it, a month ago in a video? I was doing the dishes. Let's put that back. That is like, this is why he eats microwave food all the time. Well, one of the reasons. We're going to get everything out of here. And uh, everything's going to be gone, all these dishes. Look at that. He lives by himself. And he doesn't cook. So those have been there since the kids, at least. Right? Look at that shit. Von Helton's so disabled. He can walk around and make a video, but he can't actually do the dishes. Dishes will be. Look at that shit. Be gone. Everything's going to be gone. They're coming My in God. to finish today. And uh, they will be paid quite handsomely for it. And uh, nothing will be here. And uh, the now you say, well, Bob, why are you doing this? I'm doing this because CPS whined and cried to the judge that they couldn't come in here knowing full well that I hadn't hired somebody to clean. But they used that excuse in the court to keep the judge from giving me my kids back last week. So... I'm cleaning this. It's it's being cleaned. I have a team of people that's cleaning it. A team. Not one person. A team that's cleaning this place. They they scrubbed this floor twice. Uh, the kids, the girls' room, they scrubbed it twice. And as you can see, there's, nothing, there's absolutely nothing here. It's all gone. They scrubbed it twice because it was fucking so filthy. That That's not, again, that's not a testament to the, to the uh, wonderful clean environment you are providing for your children. Let's get another little roundabout here as he goes into the bathroom, folks. They got rid of everything. All this clutter here in the in the closet's going to be gone. They're coming back to finish up today. Uh -huh. When they get done, there won't be nothing here. Uh -huh. Now these bunk beds, I got brand new mattresses for the bunk beds, so you ain't got to worry about that. And uh, uh -huh. so yeah, everything's everything's going to be ship shaped. Oh, I, uh, Jerry's. Bunk bed. They probably won't even fit. Like their clothes, they might as well throw them out. I was talking about that with someone else. They like, just throw the fucking clothes out because they're not going to fit. Like the kids have been gone so long. And if you if you still have like child sized beds, like what? Room. <laughs> so Jerry's room here. Yeah, Jerry's room. All these clothes will be gone. The closets will all be empty. Everything will be empty. These uh, this furniture will be all be gone. Uh, this furniture is all matching furniture. Uh, the bed and the end table and the uh, Chester drawers, I'll be gone, uh, or at least be emptied, and, uh, so, yeah, we're getting everything, everything's gonna be all cleaned up, everything's gonna be done, all these dishes will be gone, they're coming in to finish up today, get everything done, and, uh, they were real troopers, they come in, like I said, they even clean my, my, my office slash bedroom, they didn't even have to do that, but they, they wanted to do it, and I said, well, hell, you're here, so you might as well, right? But, uh, yeah, so... This is like an intervention by hoarders. This is like an episode of that show Hoarders, folks. It's fucking bad. Like, look at this fucking place. Look at this fucking chair I wore up. But, I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know. Again, he's got to prove that he can maintain this. That's uh, what he's understanding. Right? Von Helton, they want to see how you live now. The fact that you hired a crew to come in just shows that you're in, you're unable this video is horrible you are admitting that you can't even do dishes how are you going to raise children i want to document that and uh post it and then uh, i'll send the links out to the appropriate parties the jiff peanut butter is a nice touch though folks and uh let them know that uh the trailer has been done say that I, you know, I told him, I said, there's nothing changed. I haven't had nobody to come in and clean the trailer, you know, because they're like, well, well, let us in the trailer to see the trailer. I said, I haven't had nobody in to clean yet. And they knew this. See, that's the thing that, see, that's the thing that, that upsets me. They knew in advance that I was going to be living in that double wide. They knew almost a year in advance that I would be living in the double wide and not in the single wide, that I would either rent out the single wide or that it would be made into storage. They knew this a year, almost a year in advance. Okay, well, why are they harping on a single wide? Because they know it'll get the judge's goat. That's why. And that's the only reason why. That's the only reason why, folks. They knew it would get the judge's goat. And that's it. That's the only reason.
Bye-bye, Boo Bear. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. You can Good give it to Solar and yeah. Candace. And in between uh, you giving it to Candace, I giving it to Candace, maybe Candace will actually show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard from her in a while. I haven't so. heard from her in a while. I hope she's all right, man. I mean, the last I heard from her, dude, she was bad sick. And see, she got yeah, the clot shot. Yeah, she's looking for a husband. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah. She got no. She was sick from the clot shot. Well, let's not talk about that because of YouTube. Let's not. I know we can't talk about that. that because of YouTube. Fuck you, YouTube. By the way, fuck you. Yeah, we're coming after um, you, YouTube. Don't you worry, girly. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, just hang don't in there, you YouTube. Worry, we're girly. coming. And uh, Google, the parent company of YouTube. Yeah, and don't don't worry. We're coming after your happy ass too. Don't forget. So what's some good topics <gasps> to talk about today? What's some good uh, news art? Todd Malico 8 donated $10. I'd clean Vaughn's trailer in five minutes with a blowtorch. Yeah, yeah, a backhoe or a fucking something. I hear you. I'm sorry. Thanks. Uh, well, um, China's well, going actually, through, uh, look at this. China's unrest. China's going through pro oh, massive man, protests. Dude, I, well, you know, uh, it's, it's funny. I was just talking, I was just talking to someone. And they asked me my opinion on China. And I said, you know, and, and remember, you don't know who the fuck you're talking to, right? You don't know who you're talking to. But I, but I was talking to somebody and uh, they asked me my opinion on China. And I said, well, you know, my father's brother went over there, volunteered, mind you, volunteered. He went over there. He volunteered. And uh, to to uh, to fight in their defense. And uh, now he was he didn't fly the planes. He wasn't he wasn't you know, he was ground crew. He wasn't he wasn't one of the ones that flew right. the planes, but he was ground crew. But he was a flying tiger in, in the sense that he was that with that unit. They were a bunch of volunteers that went over there to defend China against Japanese aggression during World War Two. And my father's brother went over there as ground crew. And defended China, literally, literally defended that country. And so when China became communist after the war, my father and, and his nine brothers absolutely were livid. It's like, wait a minute, we defend you guys and you go commie on us? What the fuck? You, you talk about a major fucking insult to my family. Holy shit, it was. No question. China insulted and, you his know, and family. And this person asked me about it just, just a few days ago. Asked me about this. And I, and, and I said, listen, you know, all this is verified. You can find it. You can look it all up. My father had nine brothers. They all served in uh, World War II. And my mom, ironically, had a whole shitload of yeah. family members. They all served. And so, uh, you know, and my mom was, was, was a Rosie the Riveter. She was... She was working in the factories making tanks and machine guns. Yeah, his mom stopped going to elementary school and started working in factories at like fucking under 10 years old. Okay, Vaughn. And abstracts and planes and bombs. And actually, was she even alive during the war? Because I'm trying to, uh, I'm not going to sit here and do the math, but uh, like I know my grandpa, who's been dead for years, was like fucking three years old, five years old when the fucking World War was on. Like, uh, and, you know, all that kind of shit. And um, so, I mean, you know, but yeah, I mean, you know, I was asked my honest opinion about it and I told him the truth. I said, you know, my family considered it a high insult, um, you know, because we went, we volunteered, you know, nobody was made to go over there. We chose to go over there and defend them. And then they go commie on us after that. You know, imagine imagine the height of the insult that that was to my. So, let me but, ask you this: You think it's possible for uh, China to become a, uh, a republic and not a people's republic and not a communist state? I think I I'll tell you. You know, hi, Dove Kitty. How you doing, sweetheart? I I am thinking that um, I'm thinking more and more. I won't say it's an official, you know, but I'm I'm thinking more and more that the gods would would prefer they become a republic again. Yes. Um, you know, and, and, you know, it's funny, they said they would restore our Republic. So why would it be in the extreme that they would, they wouldn't restore China's Republic? Because remember the Chinese used to be a, a Republic folks. They used to be a democracy just like us years ago before, uh, before the end of world war, uh, two, uh, lies, lies, lies. And always, yeah. Okay. You're a fucking idiot. Get the fuck out of here. You're a dumbass. 
study some goddamn history, you stupid troll. Anyway, uh, but yeah, man, uh, we used to be we used to be a fucking uh, uh, they used to be a, a, a democracy slash republic years ago. They, they were called the People's Republic of China for a long, long time. And, um, you know, it's uh, goddamn he, he fucking come back that quick. Holy shit, dude. How many fucking accounts do you have? Holy shit. Oh, oh, it was a, okay, never mind. It's an echo, okay. All right, um, uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> Dub Kitty says, sorry, John, hello. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm here too. What's up? Yeah, John's here too. Uh, what's up? Uh, not much, man. Uh, just talking about, you know, like I said, um, you know, somebody asked me, don't, don't remember, it was just, you know, some random thing. And um, you don't know who you're talking to. You know, I could have been talking to somebody um, within the government you never know or within the military or you know you never know who the fuck you're talking to and uh, but they asked me my my opinion and i gave it and i said you know my family considered it a high insult that china went communist communist yeah. after we you know went over there and spilled our blood to defend their country against uh, japanese aggression and uh so you know um yeah, yeah, who knows who I was talking to, but it, but isn't it interesting that after I had that conversation, now we've got, you know, all these rights in the streets demanding the end of the CCP, you know? Yeah, you're, influ influ you're, get, you're very get, influential. Uh, well, that's, that's the thing, you know, who, who knows? Maybe my conversation that I have with this individual may have been instrumental. That? Now, supposedly, according to the news and media. Sorry, Wilson has just donated $1.99. Uncle. He would be your Uncle Vaughn. I know you have a weird thing about your daddy, but you don't have to call your uncle your daddy's brother. Also, did someone say hot dog? Oh, no. I don't know. That's out of control. We got to ease up on the hot dog stuff, folks. I, I can't do that. No. I'm a hot dog. Bam. I'm a hot dog. Bam. I'm a hot dog. Look at me. Look at me. with the tomfoolery and the shenanigans here we folks we got a we got videos to get through uh it was because uh four people died because china locked down the whole country over over the stupid covid shit again oh uh, yeah yeah they're in hard lockdown and so you know and those i can't believe they're died. still going on the lockdown on that yeah yeah and they did and 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 the lockdown was complete i mean covid is 99 percent recoverable folks what the fuck are we locking down for why? If you why really think Vaughn is lying, then why don't you come in here and disprove us then? Well, just you know? disprove us in the outside chat. You ain't coming your ass in here because oh well, yeah, in. that's yeah, outside. Yeah, post your post outside. your proof. Post your proof, dumbass. Post your proof. Post your proof. Thank you, John and Vaughn, for doing this one on YouTube. I like listening to you guys, but I don't want, really want to be in the chat of the stream. Well, we're gonna do those private streams. We we had a very successful private stream the other day. Yeah, it was, it was very me, successful. Vaughn, it was Vaughn, myself, Sam, Solar, a Simple Krista, and who else came? We got yeah, Simply people. Krista actually came in the room, guys. Imagine yeah, that. So now we that had a very cool. good, we had a very good, uh, successful stream. We're gonna continue to do those. If if Todd isn't removed from YouTube and Todd continues to harass us and secular continues to harass us, then we will be going to do the private streams more often. Yeah. So I need you guys to be helpful. I need you to go over to Todd and report him and let you harass you. I don't even comment or participate when you're live. I barely even watch you when you're live. I usually watch you after the fact. I don't contact you. I don't phone you. I don't what I hurt your internet feelings. You feel rejection, J Dubs? Is that it? you know wrath? What do they say about wrath and a J Dub scorn? I don't. You know that he's stealing and he's violating terms of service. Please go over to the Secular yeah. Opinion channel. Please report him. Please remove him. 
and uh, do your best. Yeah, Will you take it out, Vaughn? Well, it was that one guy that his he had a he had a ghost uh, image there, and I was just getting rid of the ghost image. Um, it, yeah, let's let's be clear about this, okay? Let's be 100, 100 uh, almost done. Uh, they- oh yeah, Vaughn is very superstitious. If you go in there with like a ghost image or something, he'll block you. If you write in Latin, he's scared of Latin. That's a little trivia, little Von Helton trivia. If you're new and you don't know that, if you type Latin in his chats, he freaks out. He thinks it's magic. I shit you not, folks. They come back yesterday and did a couple hours more, and then uh, they'll be back to finish up. We're gonna move all the stuff uh, out of out. Like I said, all these all the, all the stuff is boxed up. It's gonna be put out in the garage, and then uh, there ain't gonna be nothing in this trailer then, except a few pieces of furniture and and my appliances. And then we'll get my appliances out of here too. We'll get yeah, get that clean. Too. Get that trailer clean and fix up. Maybe I'll move it. Maybe when I move down. Well, wife. that's that's uh, you know. Because hey, I'm like a you know, stuffed maybe turkey. That's maybe that's for Thanksgiving. Plan, right? Stick me with a fork. I'm all done. Bum number one has just donated Ron ten through super chat. Thanks, Todd. Well, thank you for thanking Todd. I appreciate that. Whatever a Ron is, I'm not... maybe that's, that's the plan. plan. Works that's for the me. plan, hey. Dad. Yep, works for me, bro. And God knows I need the income right now, so I can get everything back on track. <sighs> it's just crazy. Right. Uh, but yeah, man, not much to go. They'll be back Monday. And uh, when they come back Monday, we're going to be boxing everything up, putting it out in the garage for storage. And then um, that'll be the end. Everything will be done. The dishes, they, they brought in a third person to work solely on getting all the dishes done and, and put away and everything. So now how do you find these people? The, 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 the government came in and help you. What happened? I can't reveal who they are because fucking CPS and the trolls and the frost. Okay. Would, we'll would talk run about them it off here. Then we'll talk about yeah, that. See, well, they, the thing about it is, see, they ran off the people that were helping me and they called all the cleaning agencies in Kentucky and told them not to have nothing to do with me. Well, that's really good that you were able to find someone to come down and help. You. I was very lucky to find these this team of people willing to come in and help me. Yes, and that that's what I'm saying. I you know I can't reveal who it is because these people would run them off, and yeah. uh, I can't have that. I've got I got to have this trailer cleaned up, and uh, so you know. Because what about though uh, sitting there whining and crying in court about a damn trailer that I'm not even living in? Isn't that a crock you of know, shit? That is something? such a crock of shit. But I'm not. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, Dub Kitty says I would gladly come to your private streams. I just refuse to be on any other SM other than my T person. So there again, Vaughn misses the point. They don't want to see the. You aren't living in that trailer. That's the point. You're living in the single white, and they want to see how you live, and you live like a fucking greasy uh, hill rat that you are, and that's the issue. No reason. Honey, YT is 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 about as communist as you can get without being oh, communist. I mean, they they they, 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 they give Ron away ten through super chat. Ron is what Shani is. Mm, mm, that's deep. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your information. They they allow trolls to run amok on their service. They they tout blatant support for communism, fascism, and socialism. I mean. Why in the hell would you want us? I mean, I, I, I've asked and I've told John the same thing. Why the hell are we still on my tea? You know, they're, they're, they're a sinking ship, in my humble opinion. They're a sinking ship. Yeah. And, I, and when I sue the shit out of them, um, they won't exist anymore because they'll be gone. What I'm trying to do is get your name out there because when we search YouTube, I, I see all filth about you, which I yes. don't like. So I want to put a channel out there that I run that I help with Vaughn's name. Because you do exactly what Brett Keen does and you use Vaughn, exploit him, gas him up, and use him for views. Because what you're trying to do gets absolutely no attention. Your whole fucking Jew, Muslim shtick, nobody cares. Literally nobody cares. So you basically are presenting Vaughn Helton to us like a fucking gift, right? He's a lulz keeper. He's a cow keeper, a gatekeeper for a lulz cow. That's what we call it. He's a gatekeeper and an enabler. Because uh, in some weird, twisted way, he gets attention for it. That's really what it's all about. Folks. Get you on the, the top of the search engines. Well, see, that's, right that's now the... I'm getting you up there. That we, we, no, You don't see Secular and Todd that much anymore. You're seeing these videos now more and more often. Right, right. So, well, see, that they that, it very well could be because YT and, and Google know their time is short. 
I mean, remember, again, you're saying that we're lying. Prove that we're lying in the comments. We won't block you, Von. Don't block. Okay, I won't block. Yeah, comments. yeah. Just put. Get, well, put they the, put they were on earlier in the comments. Earlier, they said the reason that they know I'm lying is because I'm talking. That's it. That's what. They well, said. then, 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 then don't, don't worry about it, Von. Don't just ignore it. Just ignore I it. Fourth wall. What's up? Let, let them hang them by their own rope. Let let yep. them hang themselves by their own rope. You know what I mean? You think that Odyssey and Bitchu doesn't sell your information? They no. probably they may. They may not. I doubt it. Know. I doubt it. You don't. I seriously so? doubt it. I seriously doubt it. You think uh, Odyssey it, is a good and Bitchute and Odyssey are good companies? Odyssey and Bitchute has been very good to me. To quote, they've been uh, better than YouTube has, to, right? To YouTube's quote, been <laughs> censoring you. To 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 quote an old baseball uh, idiom, you know, baseball been very very good to me. Well, Odyssey and Bitchute have been very good. To well, me that too. see, this is what, the troll. You know, the troll is saying, you know, YouTube has that Google money. They got that. Google yeah. Money. Well, what happened to Google Plus, guys? You said that wasn't going anywhere. I predicted that Google true. Plus would be gone, and oh, you guys are all. Oh, Vaughn's exaggerating. Vaughn's lying. Vaughn, Google Plus ain't going anywhere. And I, what was it? A month later, bam, it's gone. So, uh, yeah, so kiss my ass. Um, Lucian Carnivorous, son of Hecate. The gods have uh, the gods are, are are aware of you. Let's just put it that way. Are you are you listening to what I'm telling you? The gods are aware of you. And they remember what you said in chat the other day where you threatened to put a hex on me. Are you listening to me, you fucking YouTube troll? You see, see a lot of pe a lot of these trolls are trying to say I only come after Christians, I only come after Jews, I only come after Muslims. No, I go after pagans too. So listen to me, Lucian. Listen to me very clear, Lucian. The gods are aware of you, and they wanted me All to right, tell Bob. you that they are. Time for a mukbang. Yeah, go for it, bro. All right. So, I I lied to you technically. I day where you threatened to put a hex on me are you listening to me you fucking youtube troll you see see a lot of people a lot of these trolls are trying to say i only come after christians i only come after jews i only come after muslims no i go after pagans too so listen to me lucian listen to me very clear lucian the gods are aware of you and they wanted me All to right, tell Bob. you that they are time aware for a mukbang yeah go for it bro all right so I, I lied to you technically. I it wasn't a banquet. I forgot. It was uh it was Stopers. It oh was, it was uh, at Michelin's, yeah. Or Michelinas, yeah. Michelinas. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try the cheeseburger mac. Well that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Now have you had the cheeseburger mac before, Vaughn? I may have. Um that some of that stuff is good. Some of the Michelinas are, are good, but the thing of it is, um, you know, they're so tiny. They're just so fucking small. You know, I've never seen you seen a, eat a Michelinas. Now it just comes in the tray like that. You rip off the top. Well, they were over at mom's. It. Mom had them. You microwave it in the box that it comes in. So that's a unique plus, right? Okay, Lucian. Okay, let's let, let's see what Lucian says here. Lucian says, "Oh, please, you and your unnamed ones." And and I'm a hater, not a troll. And I already cursed you thrice, still alive. Well, you know what? Your your curse isn't working very well because yeah. here I am, dumb fuck. That's true. So okay, hold on. Back, back up on. We're doing a we're doing a mukbang. We're doing a mukbang. Right. Let's do the mukbang. Right. Let's do the mukbang. Okay. So right. this is the Michelin's cheeseburger mac. Michelin. Uh, it it yeah. comes in the bowl that it, it was made in, that which is I think is convenient. I don't it think it's kind of convenient. Yeah. Can, okay, so it was a dollar. Now midnight right. would love this. I think midnight would love to lick this bowl clean. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just like I lick my wife's snatch clean. Midnight That's would lick it. this That's clean. It. Yeah. That's it. That's right. All right. So let's see. Let's take it. A look. Uh, it doesn't really have. I'll be honest with you. It says cheeseburger mac, but look at that. It just has one, two pieces of meat in it. <laughs> no, no. they're it. all guilty it's of that, though. They're all guilty of that. All come of them. on, come on. What is that? Two pieces of meat in two there? Two pieces of meat. Yeah, come looks on. Like two you're breaking my chops, man. <laughs> they're all that way, though. They're all that. They're all guilty of that shit. That's you never. Let me put see. Let me try. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Right. Yep. The cheese flavor is a little dull. A little dull. Okay. It's a little dull. I, the meat. I think it's very plain. Yeah. Kind of on the plain side. Okay. It's a little bit plain. There's no salt. There's no pepper. There's no spice. There's no. Right, right. 
the cheese is a little bland. It, it's not bad. I, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying it's a bad taste. Mm. I'll give it a, I'll give it a good solid six out of 10. I'll give it a good solid six. If, if someone, if someone was like, John, you're coming over for some Michelin cheeseburger Mac. I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. If that's yeah. what you make, and I wouldn't complain. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But it's now, not. It's not anything to write home about. Nothing to write home about. Yeah. Yeah. Now the Michel, the other thing that we had, the Michelin panini, whatever it was. Mm. If someone told me that that what they were making that for dinner, I wouldn't come over because that wasn't fun. Right. Yeah. That's, now the, yeah. the now the banquet chicken that we had the other day. Now that was really really good. Yeah. 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 That's hard to top. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find something that's better than the banquet chicken. Really? Really? You like that? Really? I really did. Now, I don't know. The Stouffer stuff is pretty damn good, so I don't know. I haven't seen you eat the Stouffer's in a while. We get to watch John for the rest of the stream with his fucking cheese on the fucking, on his right side of his molestache. Oh, oh yeah, you had the yeah, turkey. Thank oh, yeah. you had the turkey for Thanksgiving. Yeah, the turkey. Yeah, I had the turkey for Thanksgiving. Mm. Plus, I've been eating others as well. But, oh, you know, have you? Yeah, I've been eating another one. Now, the, now the Thanksgiving one is what, $2? No, no. Stouffer's is like five bucks, dude. Oh. See, that's why I don't eat much Stouffer's because it's five bucks. Remember, they cut my they cut my food stamps down from five thirty five to two fifty. Meanwhile, good old Enrique Hernandez down at the southern border is getting fifteen hundred in food stamps. It's like what the fuck, guys? Oh yeah. You know what the fuck's going if, on? If here, you're guys? Jorge or you're Ahmed, you get t tens of thousands of dollars every year yeah. from the government. I no problem. Michelina is a southern Sicilian. It means roadkill. What? No, I don't think it does. No, I don't yeah. think it means roadkill. We'll give Peace just... a chance. If you behave yourself, we'll let you stay. We'll see. Looks good. Yeah, thank you, Lindsay. You're looking good, too. You, you going to come in and talk to us, Lindsay? Yeah, come in and talk. Man. Come in and talk. Uh, let's see. Well, you know what, Luciferian? Like, I'm going to t I'm going to say it again, and then I'm going to ban your fucking ass because Please you, do. because you. Well, he said he. We're trying to give you a chance, guy, Lucian. He put a curse on me, dude. He's gone. Why are you cursing Vaughn? We're trying to behave. We're trying because to give a piece, piece of, of shit. Chance. He's a fucking left hand path piece of shit Satanist, and he fucking worships Lucifer. Hence the name Luciferian. Yes, he's, yeah. he's a piece of shit. Yeah. He, he, he's serving the wrong side of of the aisle, as it were. So we, and, we so, can't give you a chance if you're gonna if you're gonna be nasty. We're gonna have to get can, rid of you. That's right. And not only that, but I I said what I needed to say. The gods told me to tell this fucker. No, no I don't think you're like stubborn. Like I've talked to a lot of like especially Time after I donated six dollars and seven cents. This is what you are all missing since I bullied them into private shows. By the way. Yep, this is uh, this is it, folks. So now we move on, I guess, to the... Thank you very much, by the way. Uh, we move on to the Candace segment. Some of this I'm probably going to skip because he goes, goes on about a bunch of, you know, COVID bullshit. But uh, we're getting there. We're getting there, folks. Thanks for joining. If, you're, if you just came in, please thumbs up. All that good stuff. Let's uh, let's keep it rolling, folks. I have dealt with Indian people. I don't think mm -hmm. any American I met is considered to be stubborn. I think... <laughs> Yeah. Oh wait! Oh yeah! There's a new. There's an Indian uh, prophet or something. Now she's getting wrapped up in. Like she just she and she actually seeked this guy out. Uh, like she she's not only just a mark, a target, you know, for scammers. She actively seeks out scammers. Yeah, because you know, like I had this Indian pa pa Indian pastor from India asking me if he like he wanted to do ministry in Malaysia. He asked me whether he can stay in my house and un, until he, he until he finds a new uh, a, a ministry place i tell him i'm a single unmarried f f christian f a sister and he wanted to stay in my house and it was just like a lot of and and um who wanted to like, come in and stay in your house some yeah, indian so guy I, I so i texted him in his indian language like he he speaks telugu he doesn't speak Hindi, because there's like tons of Indian really? language. He speaks Telugu, yeah. not Hindi. Wow. Yeah, and he said, "Do not text me in in in, in Telugu. Hindi. Do not text me in. Oh, do not Telugu. Oh. Yeah, and I was like so pissed because the reason I met him was because he literally saw 
Like, do you guys know that there was a Malaysian airplane that when that yes. when that it crashed went or yeah. when uh, when missing, like in 2014, yeah. mm-hmm. MH yep. MH370, yep. and he saw visions before that happened and he added like added I need like uh, so he like basically Plumis Cantrell donated five dollars through Super Chat. John looks like a body that has been floating in the river for two weeks. Diabetes is doing a number on Mr. Way. Mm, indeed. Indeed I think an accurate diagnosis. Thank you very much for that. Uh yeah, folks. It's uh I think uh J Dub's looking at Vaughn is staring into his future. I think honestly, but uh, there's many parallels, you know. Anyways, I saw a, a Malaysian air it, it, airplane and like and Malaysian twin tower or whatever, and he edit he he googled these for for these photos and he added the photos on on his Facebook and mm. and and the, and the timeline you you know the Facebook timeline <laughs> the, the the photo timeline cannot be manipulated. Let me let me yeah. ask you, can so so what so so who is did you did you know this guy? He was just a random guy. Because so, I was really interested in in this missing plane, so I found his face. Oh, group. okay, okay. You found him through the missing plane. Okay. Yes, through this, uh, um, through through his Facebook group. He's in Tesser from India, who saw visions before this plane went missing. So I I I knew him through that Facebook group. But just, just I don't know. Like just talking to him is just kind of difficult because it's like, you know, he kept telling me, uh, he wanted U- USA women. He wanted U- U- USA women, and he would just like he wants to text come to me. America because he wants a free uh, immigrant. He wants a free green card. That's all he wants. Yeah, and I was really pissed because he's like. When, whenever he was like horny or like whatever, he was like, "Do you know any any American?" Women, um, please, like, uh, uh, like I, I have hard time con- controlling my con- controlling my feelings. Please let me know if you know any U- USA women. And then, and then, he he'll be telling me <laughs> this, but then, like some other day, he will be saying that, oh, he only want arrange arrange because you know in in India people are still doing arranged marriage and right. yeah, people that's true. Are, yeah. He was saying, "Oh, he prefer." It's still common in America. There's more. some people in America that still do it. Right. Hold on. Uh, we got Lin- Lizzie Borden. Oh, we got someone room. new in the room. Lindsay, uh, your husband let you come in. What's going on, Lindsay? Lindsay Borden going once. Lindsay Borden going twice. Come on, Lindsay, Lindsay speak up. Unmute. Hold on. Let let her unmute the microphone. Unmute Lindsay, the unmute. microphone and let's hear. Let's. Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right, motherfuckers. Come on. Uh, open up. Let's hear you. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Lindsay, you can I have do faith. it. I have faith in you. You can do it. You got to click that little unmute button there. Hey, Lindsay. This is Candace. Unmute. Candace is here. Vaughn's here. All, all four of us is here, Can- uh, Lindsay. You can come yeah. in and chat with us. Come on, Lindsay. Unmute, Lindsay. Uh, I would point out that that Lindsay Borden, I believe, was was a was a woman who chopped up her 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 parents and 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 killed them in cold blood. Oh, really? Uh, the name I Lindsay think, Borden. I think so. I, if I remember correctly, yeah, Lindsay Borden was was a uh, was a child that murdered her parents. If I remember correctly, isn't that in in that correct? I believe that's correct. What a wonderful world we Let's live look in. Look People chop up their parents. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. The golden rail said I refused to move to the U.S. No, it wasn't that I refused, but it was just like I wasn't, I wasn't, I was offered. I mean, and I, and I mean, like Vaughn is a pagan guy. So, I mean, I told Vaughn, like I told everybody, like I wanted a Christian man. And so it's just like, I don't get any <laughs> Christian man offering me that he, he wanted me to move there. Yeah, yeah, we gotta find you a Christian guy. Yeah, I know. We gotta... Yeah, if you want a Christian man, don't worry, we'll find you one. I, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, I'm gonna find you a real Christian, not not a fake Christian. We'll try to find you. Oh, there's Feckle. Whoop, there's this Feckle. Is so, this is so hurtful. It's like yeah. I don't look that bad, but I don't get any. Hey, v- uh, Veco. Um, and you know, it's what's interesting. Veco has an Asian wife, don't you, Veco? 
I do. Yeah. See. What, see what are you guys talking about? What I miss? We're not. We're talking just a little bit of everything, really. Talk about. Oh, okay. Bit. I was going to talk about Biden, but the daggone thing disappeared on me. It's like where the hell did it go? I saw the article. I click on the <laughs> article and poof, it's gone. It's like, Is that okay yeah. to talk about on YouTube these days? <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't. Well, maybe the gods are like, yeah, you're going to talk about that right now. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> But uh, but yeah, it was it was it was an article there about Biden in the uh, in the G20 or something, and and I was going to click on it because it sounded interesting, and poof, it's gone. It's like where the hell did it go? Okay, well, whatever. China, China did it. China, China. China. I was I, I was kind of. <laughs> uh... Oh, speaking of China, did you hear Beckel? No. What, what about people China are now? in the streets, bro? The people are in the streets calling for the for 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 Xi Jinping to step down and for the dismantling of the CCP. Yes, yes, yes. guys. I'm gonna put that in prayer, man. Thank you so much, Tom. Man, that's no, good. No, oh, dude, they're in the streets by the millions, bro. And not only that, not only oh. that, but apparently four people died because China invoked some kind of lockdown over over a fake COVID again, and uh, oh. and four people died as a result. And so the people are in the streets about that as well. But they're calling for, they're calling for the CCP to go away and and for and for the true Republic of China to be restored. See a lot what a lot Man. of people don't know. A lot of people don't know out there, folks. Uh, China used to be a real republic. It used to be a real uh, democracy republic. You know, uh, similar to the United States, the people had the majority of the power. People had freedom. Uh, you know, uh, commerce, all that stuff. Everything was great. And after World War II. Uh, the Chinese went communist on us, and everything went went to shit. So that is you know. true. It's very I'm gonna put that in prayer, man. That that actually, uh, I, I that feel is some awesome fucking news, ain't it? Yes, that it is, is. That is that is good news, man. I just want to good news. That, uh, well, now I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Becca, what I believe. I was told. I believe. I believe that. I believe that. Well, here's here's the way I'm going to put it because I don't want to say anything official, but here's the way I'll put it. Um, you know, I talked to the gods about restoring the republic here in the United States, and they said absolutely, no question. And and the inference, though, about talking about China, you know, particularly in light of the fact that my parents volunteered to, or my my father's brother rather volunteered to go over there and fight, is the is the fact that you know it's very possible they want the Chinese republic restored as well. Not just not just ours, but Chinese Republic restored as well. Yeah, because the Chinese Republic is now in Taiwan. So correct. So correct. Which is the why they want to attack Taiwan. The real That's Chinese, the real Chinese co 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 culture is actually in Taiwan. Correct. That's right. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's See, I don't know if you knew this. The Reds record, but... took over China, and the and the people and the, and the people who ran China fled to Taiwan. Correct. So yeah. everyone who's in Taiwan or or political uh, what is that's uh, the terminology? Refugees. Political, political refugees. refugees. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Are, the Taiwan Taiwan is what China used to be used before to be, communists yeah. took over. Ah, that's right. why if you recognize Taiwan, China will censor you. China doesn't. Right. Yeah, China doesn't like the fact. So, that, like, if America, like, if American TVs or American music, uh, music or movies, they reference Taiwan, they won't allow that to be in China. They'll they'll censor it. Ah, uh, okay. Has its own version of Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or whatever. Well, thanks for explaining that to me. I didn't. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you're you're not you're you're not allowed to use Facebook uh, or Twitter or YouTube or anything in China, but most people would still use it using like a a wall. Uh, what's that? Firewall, like, something like that, or VPN. Yeah, like a wall crossing v wall. Uh, like I I, I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah, the firewall. Yeah, the break through the firewall with a VPN. Right. Yeah, 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 break the firewall. Most people. Wow. Would still yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's Lindsay, uh, let me let me address this. Lindsay, Lindsay Borden, uh, the reason you couldn't talk is because you refused to unmute your mic. When you unmute your mic, then you can talk. We asked you several times to unmute your mic. You wouldn't unmute your mic. So, you know, what do you want me to say? I mean, you wouldn't unmute your mic. You know, when you come in here, you need to unmute your mic and say something so we know you're there. Yeah. We're going to assume you're not there. You're allowed and, to be here. Or you just have to unmute your mic. That's all. Yeah, you're just kind of unmute your mic and talk. You won't. You won't. So, uh, so, okay, so, we'll be so, I have a, so I have a question. How long? How long? Oh, man. 
how long has this uh the the the, the fighting has been going on the the protest well, that's going the on. interesting thing about it okay uh, like i was telling john just a few minutes ago there was somebody approached me uh a, i don't know maybe not even a week ago and okay. asked me what my opinion was on china and i said well my father's brother went to China and volunteered to fight against J Japan and defend the Chinese people against Japanese aggression in World War II. My, my father's brother was a flying tiger. Now, he didn't, he didn't fly the planes. He was a ground crewman, but he was still there, and he still participated. And as far as I'm concerned, he was just as important, maybe even more important, because he kept the planes flying. And, but the point is, is that, you know, my father and all of his nine brothers served in World War II with distinction. Defending, defending China, defending the Philippines, defending all these other countries against Japanese aggression in World War II. And so when China went communist after World War II, it was very offensive to my family. My, my family was, was very offended by that. And, uh, you know, because we're stalwart, we're stalwart uh, capitalists. And, no, no, and well, I'm, I'm, talking about the, I'm talking about the recent event that you talked I, about I'm earlier. Get, I'm, getting, I'm getting to that. Oh. Okay, and so my conversation, you know, I'm telling this person this about a week ago. Okay, and then and then one one week later, we have all this exploding out of nowhere, where they're saying they want their democracy back that was taken from them, and they want the end of the CCP. So I don't know. Did I have? Did I talk to the right person or something? Maybe I did. I don't know, but I find it very interesting mm -hmm. that it wasn't even a week later that that this exploded out on the scene. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said just the other day, four people died, and that just compounded things. That made things. All right, worse. Lindsay's saying in the comment section, she's saying that she can't push the mic button. So what you do is you go into the settings right. on the bottom of the screen. It's like a little cogwheel. Right. You click on the right. clog wheel and it's going to open up and it's going to, and you're going to want to go to audio You click right. audio and make sure your microphone is set correctly. Correct. That's all. Correct. That's all you got to do. Yep. All you got to do. Yep. That's all you got to do. Piece of cake. Piece of cake, man. But, so, uh, yeah, but it's I, good that to see the people want a freedom. It's good to see people. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. And, I, and what did I tell you, John? I said, I said, you're going to see this thing spread. It's going to it's going to spread. We, you know, everybody's out there talking doom and gloom. I'm not talking no doom and gloom. I'm telling you, the gods that I serve are want, want peace on earth. They want this thing restored. They want everybody restored. They want it to go back to pre pre times before all these. Um, hi. Um, and it <laughs> happened nowhere. Oh, there's Dan. Okay. Uh, yeah, hang on. Hang on. Dan wants the link? He wants the link, right. He wants the link. Well, the link is out there in the chat. You can grab it. That's how well, he, well, he if he join if he joins late, he might not see the link. So I'll give him the link. I'll give him the link. It's all good. I'll anyway, Candace, uh, how you feel? So so what did you get do to feel better? You eat a lot of soup? You drank a lot of soup? Ate a lot of soup? I slept a lot. I ate a lot. I just, um Yeah. yeah. Slept, sleep, and 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 eat. Right. Well, Candace, I, I I feel bad that you got COVID and you was in quarantine, but it 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 was it proved it proved very useful in the sense that you know now you see that I wasn't lying, that the vaccine does absolutely nothing to protect you from COVID, absolute zero. That's pretty significant. And what's scary about it is you don't. You don't hear the government even saying, right. oh, it's baloney, you know, they just don't. All right, so just disclaimer, it's all bullshit. It's fucking, you know the drill, folks. It's, we don't support that COVID. Not Tom Foolery, folks, shenanigans. Want to guess what they all had in common? Oh, here we go. You know, so, yeah, uh, there's no question. There is no question in my mind, uh, you know. You got you you got twenty years. I just want to I just want to say real quick, John Reed. We let you stay in here, but you come in here and you just want to antagonize us. You want right. to say nasty things. We trying to give you a chance, but you won't stop. Please stop. And the same thing with Darren. You're coming in here and you're saying nasty things. If you come in here and say nasty things, you're going to get removed. So I don't want right. to hear you crying and complaining to me that we've removed you. If you can't behave. Then you're gonna have to leave, okay? Go, Darren go John, Darren Morrison. Saying, uh, go well, back okay, to first of all, let's on. be clear. Okay, first of all, let's be clear, John. Darren Morrison is a convicted criminal. 
Okay. And YouTube is literally coddling this man and allowing this man to harass people on their service. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. So, so here's the thing. Okay. You know, you know, if, 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 if the trolls and haters were doing shit that uh, to actually be at the behest of my children, it would be a different story. You're not trying to help my kids. You're calling these fuckers and get them to get fake child support off of me so that I'll go broke and go to jail. That's why you're doing it. You're not doing it because you care about the kids. You don't give a goddamn about those kids. You're doing it to try to get me thrown right. in jail. You don't really give shit. You don't give two shits about those no, they kids. They don't give a shit about the kids. They don't right. care. And, and that's not why they're doing it. They're doing it to try to throw me in jail. Well, guess what, motherfucker? The gods I serve have a plan. And that plan does not include you fucking trolls. Thank so you. get it right. Okay? And your time is limited. I'm going to tell you flat out, your time is limited. Because the, the gods I serve are done with you fucking assholes. 15 years. 15 years, you got Clay County to assault an innocent man and his family and destroy it. CMC's Black Tooth donated $10 through Super Chat. For your Heineken fund, thank you for covering this cuckoo. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure. And uh, cheers. Thanks a lot. And the god and the gods are like we're done we're done with these fucks. What's we're going on, Sol? It's good to see What's you, up, man. What's going on, family? And destroy it. And the, guy, and the gods are like, we're done. Oh, hey, you hey, what's going on? Can you guys hear, can you guys hear me? Oh, we hear, oh, we hear, hear you. We hear the video. We hear yeah, them. Yeah. Them, them downstairs. Oh, we you hear YouTube. You got to mute YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had, yeah I had, it was on my phone. I had it on the... You got to okay. mute it. There you, you, go. you don't there have you to shut it off. Just mute it. There you yeah, go. I like what Vaughn was saying there. Go ahead, Vaughn. Keep talking. About, you know. Well, that, well, that's what I'm saying. You know, if they were, if they generally give the damn about what these kids wanted, well, what, what, ha what did the kids say under oath in court? We want to go home. We want to come we back, be home, back with yeah. our daddy. Yeah. Okay, so if you really give a fuck about these kids, you would have called Clay County and said, "Hey, give Von Helen's kids back to their daddy because that's what they want." How about, how about doing what the kids want? You fucks. How about you call Clay County no, and that, tell that them, that "Hey, do what no, the wait a minute, want. wait a minute, Reed. That isn't providing proof. That's just shit talking. All you're doing is shit talking. You're not providing. Proof. Yeah, you're not you providing any truth, up. Reed. If you if we were providing truth, it it well, would stand on its own. You were on Dateline NBC, Chris Hansen. I was on. I was on CNN. I was on Dateline NBC. I've been on several places. Who cares? I don't give a shit. They're they're communists. They're folks down in down under. It, it, that looks weird, dude. That's that's creepy. <laughs> anyway, down down in the uh, down in 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 the place where the where the uh, where the uh, uh, where the secretaries and stuff are in CNN. There's okay. a huge, there's a huge three foot mural of linen. I'm not making that shit up. There is a huge three foot mural of linen. Wow. Okay. I'm not What's making that, that shit I'm up. Not sure. So when I say oh. that they're communist, I'm not saying it to hear myself talk. I'm not saying it to blow smoke up your ass. I'm saying it because, yeah, damn it, they really are communists. When you got a three-foot-tall picture of Lenin hanging on your fucking wall, yes, God damn it, you're a communist. No, no oh, question. hey, Vaughn. Yes. Did you, uh, to just to touch on COVID again, uh, yes. did you see the other day when uh, the lesbian speaker there uh, was asked, uh, have they come any closer to finding in China? And a few others are are getting together and going after his bosses, which which is also Obama's bosses again. And and this this accomplishes two goals. Number one, you now have real money, which means it's backed everywhere in the world automatically. But number two, you also make the new world order a paper tiger because without their money, they ain't got no power. They ain't got no power to influence governments. They ain't got no power to hire thugs. They ain't got no power because, you know, even the thugs, hey, man, your money's no good. See you, bye. You know, so even the thugs ain't going to want nothing to do with the fuckers. And so, you know, it's good. This is a good thing. And, and, and China and Russia and what was it, India, Iran of all countries. I thought that was bizarre. And, uh, and, you know, a bunch of them, they've all got together and they said, hey, you know, screw this. We're going to reestablish the gold standard. And like I said, it it you know it's going to seem it's going to seem bad in the in the news, you know. Oh my God, the dollar's crashing. The dollar's going to go down. Well, good, let it let it die because it's not real. It's fake. It's not real money. Let it die. Let the new world order die with it. 
and then that'll be the end of that. And uh, we can go back to real money, and go back to actually having something we can be proud of, right? Because you can be proud of that. But you know, and 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 it's it's interesting that my former enemy is now doing more to stop the new world order than than Americans are. It's like goddamn, you know, gun sales went up under Obama. Yeah, they did. I don't I don't doubt that. Is that Todd? I'm recording so Todd time. is saying he's recording us illegally. So what we're going to do is we're going to end the live stream right now, and yeah. we're going to continue to call in private. And no, he said to... he's recording it in Streamyard. He's recording Maybe it. In yeah, he's going to play it later live. So yeah, we're going to we're going to end this get now. Out here. We, we don't we're not, we don't want to be right. harassed by you, Todd. We don't want right. to be bothered by you. If yeah. you want to be in here, you got to get in right now because we're leaving, right? Right. How do I, so only way how do I get back in? Link. So grab how, you, how do I get back in? John, do we wait till you give us a... I'll give you a link. I'll give you a link, guys. I'll give you a link. Don't yeah. worry. I'll give you a link. Now, Vaughn, you just put it up there for everybody to see, though. Yeah. Oh, I see. You're going to have to be in StreamYard, so it don't matter. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't care. Not my problem. That's his fucking problem, not mm -hmm. mine. But I did what I was told to do. I was told to let the fucker know that the gods are aware of what he has been saying and what he has been doing. And then that's between him and the gods of creation. And and may the gods be with you because I am not. Now you're gone. Bye. See ya. Thank you. You know where I went today, Vaughn? You might you might think this is interesting. I went to the um, Golden Corral today. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah, high speed road drive, it, man. I, you know what? It, I took the wife. Me and the wife went there for lunch. Right, right. Actually, I played hooky from work. I, uh, I called in sick. John. And we went to the Golden Corral. And it was okay. It was. I, I, I'll be honest with you. The Golden Corral wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Really? Yeah, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. We got someone that came in the room. Yeah, it's that? blue. It's fucking blue. All right, blue. What do you want, blue? Blue, you domestic terrorist. What do you want? He hung up. No. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Uh, uh, I do not have roadkill on my beard. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> what well, your husband said is not a good, not a good idea. Why is that? Um, you have to be thankful that you get EBT. They told my family makes twenty dollars too much to get the, and we struggle every day. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, uh, Dove Kitty, we pray for you, and we pray that you'll get help. You know all the help that you need in the future. Amen. Well, now see, here's the thing that that that, that confuses me about that. Okay. Oh, hi, Krista. How here's the thing. Here's the thing that 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 uh, kind of confuses me about that. Okay. If you're disabled, it shouldn't matter how much fucking money you have. Money you got, yeah. It shouldn't matter. What you've done or what you haven't done, it shouldn't matter. What is that, what midnight? You, what kind of, yeah, it's midnight. It shouldn't make you see the see the growl, <laughs> see the, oh, yeah. the buck tooth or the uh, the you know the Darth Vader shit. She's got the Darth Vader thing going on, but uh, but you know it shouldn't matter if you're you're either disabled or you ain't. It shouldn't matter how much income you have or what kind of house you live in or how much money you possess. If you're disabled, you're disabled, and you should get that money. That money should belong to you. OK, and that's what I find very confusing about the whole damn thing, because you're either disabled or you aren't. It's like with me, you know, I'm disabled. I have lymphedema in my feet and legs. It's excruciatingly painful. Let me assure you of that. And uh, I live in tw constant 24 hour pain. Yes, I can go to the hospital and get a horse pill or, or a shot in my ass. But that only lasts 24 hours at the most. And then the pain's right. Right. Back it only lasts place. a certain time. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that's just a waste of fucking taxpayer money at that point. Now, the thing of it is, here's the thing. I've learned to live with the pain, which is kind of interesting because when I got a kidney stone, I literally walked into the hospital and they're like, <laughs> they couldn't believe it, man. They come in, how the hell are you on your feet? I said, well, when you live in constant pain, what's well, a little more pain, you know, and just tack it, tack it onto the rest of the shit. Right. Actually, actually, the pain from the from the kidney stone took away the pain from my feet and legs and allowed me to walk a little bit easier. Believe that one. So, uh, yeah, it was just crazy. And, and, of course, some of that is terminal. So, now mine is not terminal, praise the gods. But uh, there is some terminal cases of, of lymphedema. Uh, mine, th thankfully, has not, at least not so far. So, uh, But here's the thing, you know, uh, I have been, I've been denied my disability so many fucking times, I, I've lost count. But I now have a team of, of uh, 
of lawyers that are going to fix that as soon as I get my damn phone turned back on, which is aggravating me right now. I, I, I get them half a payment. They said they're going to turn the phone back on and the cable back on. I'm like, okay, great. And then I'll call and schedule an appointment to get the rest of the shit done and pay the, pay the second half, right? Okay, well, I get home and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, waiting. Yeah, the fucking shit never got turned on. So the lady lied to me. It's like, God damn it. Damn it, lady. You lying to me? I hate that shit. Because I, I, you know, I do my best not to lie to people, but whatever. Yeah, I try not to lie either, man. Feeding welfare bums is a waste of, of prayers, money. What? 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 In the waste of taxpayer. Well, if you're a bum, I agree with that. Welfare bums. Yeah, yeah if, if you're a welfare, welfare bum, queen, I'm not a welfare bum. I'm I've got a legitimate uh, disease. I'm not a welfare. Someone's bum. been welfare watching bum. you since uh, 2010, man. Holy cow. 20, wow. 12 years, man. I've been lucky. Yeah, my luck has definitely turned around, uh, Underwood. No, no doubt about it. My luck has definitely turned around. Praise be the gods of creation. Benefit should go in the most in, in need. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it should be very limited. I'm not a big fan of welfare, but it should go to the only those who really, really need it. People who is not afraid want. of you, Blue, and I can prove it. Watch this, motherfucker. Watch this shit. Can you step on him like a bug? Oh, step on, him, stepping like a bug. on him like a bug. Bye. See ya. That's awesome. That's the end of you. I'm had. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so fucking done with these assholes. I'm just so fucking. I done. have a registered psychiatric disability. However, I work for a living full time, earn more than minimum wage. I do not have any disability benefits. Neither do I need them or want them. Well, what are you? What What's your psychiatric uh, disability? Depression? Yeah. What? Is, yeah. What is it? Because yeah, I mean, what is you it? Know, morbidly you're, obese, be eating too much. You just can't if, stop eating. If you're legitimately disabled, then you're due that money. That money is due to you. So I mean, you know, uh, if you choose not to want it, that's on you. But you know, if you're, you know, yeah, I don't, you know. You do, you do, you pal, and you everybody, let everybody else do them. Be easy on the trigger finger, Vaughn. Let them hang themselves. Let right, them hang of course. Oh, you're autistic, autistic spectrum oh, disorder. That we have. Oh, you're artistic. Oh, yeah. well, a lot of people that are haters end up being artistic. Yeah. Well, my I'm wife is an artistic. She's artistic, not autistic. Artistic. You know, you know not the autistic, difference. Right. Artistic. <laughs> artistic. <laughs> right. I got you. <laughs> I am still. I'm on the spectrum here. myself. I have spectrum internet. Right. Yes. Spectrum is great, man. Yeah. Spectrum is great. And Will is on the spectrum, literally, because he's yeah. just like you, Perkins. Yeah. yeah. On the spectrum. Yeah. I use spectrum, but I'm not on the spectrum. Right. Very good. <laughs> All joking aside. Anyway, all well, seriously, uh, people should get their benefits if they deserve it. If people deserve, the, people need the benefits, they should get the benefits. Come in in midnight. You can lick on the bowl, lick the cling. Midnight. <laughs> midnight. Oh, there goes the puppies. All three of them. My disability is starting fires in my mind. Oh, yeah. I was going to say undressing women would be what I, I thought. You're, that undressing women would be yours, poor child. Knowing you. My anyway, Vaughn, what's a good topic? We talked about the China uprising, and you and you think that it's going back to democracy soon. Well, I, I do, I do, yeah. because uh, you know, and uh, it, so, I just thought it, I thought it was so interesting though that I had that conversation, and then here, what, maybe a week later at the most, because you're a microcosm of the universe. So apparently, apparently, uh, actually, I do have something, and and this is go this should anger everyone, uh, except for the hardest of the left, of course. And what's that um, might be? Well, shit, I just had it, and now it's gone. Where the fuck did it go? Um, I don't know if this is breaking news, but Kanye West is coming out, and, and he's calling on Elon Musk to reinstate um, um, Alex Jones back on Twitter. Now, he did bring back Donald Trump. Right. They, he did bring back Donald Trump to Twitter, which is interesting enough. Right. Now is Trump using Twitter? Is he just no, because he's reinstated? Is he is he using it? He said he wasn't going to use it, so he's not going to use it, right? He said he wasn't going to use it. So his his said. account is back up on the internet, but no, he, no one's using it, basically. Right, right. Yeah, he's not. Uh, he said he wasn't going to use it, and he's not using it. So. Are you using Twitter? What's your Twitter handle, Levon? I'm banned from Twitter, so I'm both oh, of my yeah, account, both of my Twitter accounts are banned. Because I'm an evil conservative, you know. 
evil. Yeah, um, that's. Uh, so I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm an evil. You are. You are really evil conservative. Yeah, like me. We love life. We love liberty. So that means we're evil conservatives. Mm -hmm. All but right, yeah, let's like Perkins. Dear Vaughn, I generally believe you have undiagnosed and untreated type two diabetes. You should seek medical. Holy hopping fucking horse shit. What part of I went to a doctor and was checked out? Do you not fucking get? What the fuck do you not get, dumbass? I've been I've been examined by five fucking doctors, one here locally just recently. They all confirm I have lymphedema. I do not have diabetes. I do not have gout. I do not have any of this other bullshit that you fuckers keep. As someone who actually has type two diabetes, I can safely say that Vaughn, if he had type two diabetes, he would be dead right now with all that Mountain Dew that he drinks. And as he's saying, you have type two. There's the Mountain Dew, baby. Woo! Got to do the Dew. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. That person has you blocked. Who the hell would block you, Krista? You're awesome. Yeah. Who would block yeah. Krista? You know how ridiculous that is, Vaughn, that you have type 2 diabetes? Yes. It how is long, how many years have you been drinking Mountain Dew? I've been drinking Mountain Dew since I was five years old, literally. And how many cans do you have a day on average? Five, six? Yeah, about five, six, something like that. And so you've been drinking five, six cans of Mountain Dew since you were five years old? Uh, Yeah, yeah. God, I go all the way back to the original bottle that had the hillbilly on the side and the little outhouse. And um, so, yeah. Well, I will agree with that. The sugar isn't good for you. Yeah, it probably isn't, but I do I have diabetes. But for some Probably's reason, out. Vaughn is kicking it, man. Vaughn is still alive and kicking. Yeah, I do not have and, diabetes. And it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like Vaughn's going anywhere. Vaughn, what's your A A one C level? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Now, back I when I was back when I was drinking a lot of sugar and eating a lot of sugar and drinking every day, and I, I don't drink every day anymore. As many um, my, as many times as my I my A1C dead. was about seven. It was like six point eight, which was really high. As uh, many times as I've been in a fucking a hospital or or a doctor's office, and I've been jabbed, poked, fucking looked at, examined, yeah. the, the, and nobody in 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 fifty six fifty nine or excuse me fifty right. yeah, fifty nine. No one even fucking. No one in fifty nine years has been able to find out I had diabetes. Are you serious? All the blood work I've had done, all the fucking uh, uh, scrapes they did on my skin, all the fucking shit they've done to me, and they nobody ever found the fucking diabetes. Yeah, come on, man. Now they're claiming that all that sugar is from that's why your teeth are losing. Well, that may be true, Von. Do you no. think you lost no, your teeth no, from the sugar? No, no, I know what I know what got my teeth. My teeth. Was destroyed by all the fluoride in the Ohio water. There was so much. That's fluoride true. I, Iowa has some of the worst water. Ohio, oh, yeah. oh, my Ohio. water, my water in Ohio had so much fluoride in it. It actually had an odor, a very noticeable odor. Now, my buddy, my buddy Sharpie, who used to do stick can with me back in the day, I haven't talked to him in a while. He said, he said the water there. He lives there with you. I think he lives over where you used to live too. Actually, Hamilton yeah. or whatever. Yeah, he okay. used to say the water had an odor and it would be the worst. It was the worst water ever. So now he's saying you're definitely diabetic. Again, uh, Robbie, we we know for sure because the doctors have told us that Vaughn is not diabetic. Not a diabetic. Not a diabetic. So stop, please. Not stop diabetes, not gout. It's that is fake news that's being spread by yes. Todd and Secular and all those trolls and haters. Yeah, stop please spreading, stop fake, spreading news. fake news. Please, 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 please. They ain't going to stop. We're going to have to ban them because they won't stop. That's the thing. They won't stop. What is the losers, losers going to do when Vaughn is gone? I believe they'll miss him. Yeah. What do you, why do you think they love, why do you think they love watching Vaughn every day? Because they're obsessed with him. They, yeah, a, they want obsession. that big red, they want the big red one. And B, yeah. they have, they're losers with no lives. So they watch right. Vaughn. Yep. Exactly. Like the, like the Talmud says, people who are obsessed with other people have no lives of their own. Yes, Don't exactly. Your mother yanked your fangs out, which damaged your other teeth. Is well, that, oh, that's yeah, true. Well, see, that's that's what I'm saying. It was a one-two. It was a one-two punch. Yeah, it was a one-two punch. See, yeah, the the fangs. Okay, the fangs had. Oh, you should have seen the roots on these fuckers. It was crazy. It mm. was it was fucking crazy. The roots on these fangs. I had I had four extra uh, uh, canine teeth. 
Okay. Yeah, I had a this couple extra ones too back this here. Was, this was verified. I, by had, my I had a couple extra molders, man. When they got when they yanked them out, those were oof, those hurt, man. Yeah. Well, this was confirmed by my by my uh, by my dentist. You know, I had I had four extra incisors, four extra canines. And she had this big, long scientific name for it. I don't fucking know, nor do I give a shit, okay? But the, but uh, what happened was, is that that fuck down the road there, and and these and probably the trolls on the internet too. Oh, he's got to be a vampire. Look at those fangs. He's got to be a vampire, you know. And 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 paranoid, you know, Christians, they freak out over shit like that. Oh my God, he must be a devil, you know. And so you know, she you know she she took me to the hospital and had those fangs yanked out. Well, see, the problem is that those fangs and those big, deep roots of theirs is what helped anchor the rest of my teeth in place. So when they yanked those fangs out and they then took the braces, the mouth, yeah. and, and, and well, well, they, they when they, well, that's why them, your teeth are there in the first place. We need them. I don't know why they were, th I know they're Christian and I know they're paranoid, but damn, they're that dumb. Well, now they did. That's a fact. That's, that's not, you know, I don't make this shit up. I, well, I'm not allowed to lie anyway, but the point is, here's the thing. When they yanked those fangs out, that was what was helping to anchor the rest of my teeth in place. And so when they took the braces and squeezed the teeth together where the, where the fangs used to be, they covered over those holes, right, and squeezed everything together. Well, what that done was that loosened all the teeth in my head, all of them. They all became loose at that point because they were squeezing them together to fit over those holes, right? And so when they did that, then here comes the gingivitis. Here comes the, uh, all this other uh, garbage. And it and it went in there and it did it and then the and then the and then the fucking uh, the fucking water gets in there the fluoride in the water and gets rots in it there out from the core and right, that, and right, that right was, from the fucking center and that was that was the Sucked end it yeah. like a lollipop right out yeah that yeah. was the end of it yeah that was the end of it now Perkins says he's genuinely concerned for you so he just admitted that his fucking mouth was riddled with gingivitis and fucking all kinds of conditions but it, the the straw that broke the camel's back folks apparently was fluoride. Which actually protects your teeth, but uh, I digress. Delayed condition. I, I, I'll be honest with you, Perkins. I don't think you actually care about Vaughn, to be no, honest. No, not you. not in the least. <laughs> I, I the have least. a funny feeling that you not don't really give a shit. No, not in the least. Someone wants to know: Have you ever taken the Able test? What the fuck is the Able Gen test? Yeah, I, apparently, I haven't because I don't know what it is. So apparently, I haven't. Vaughn needs sunshine and happiness. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody we needs sunshine. Everybody needs sunshine. We, all need love. we all need love. We all need love. All right, Vaughn, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go grab something else to eat. That was not filling. That was not. Well, of course not. It's it's it's, it's only about it's, that it's big. Why does YouTube? Love. Why does uh, you, uh, Google? Oh, um, Microsoft YouTube, always mess with the audio. That's always weird. What? All right, folks. So that was the catch up of the latest stream and the trailer tour. I thought since we're all together. We'll catch something. This is one of the... They started doing this series of microwavable dinner mukbangs. John is trying... He's taking uh, a page from the Book of Von Helton, and he's been trying out these uh, gourmet... Uh, <laughs> fucking... Look, folks. We're all here. It's 45 minutes. They talk about some bullshit. This is like from a week ago. I meant to cover it. I didn't have time. So uh, J-Dubs looks like a fucking pumpkin. And uh, Von Helton is just still a greasy pile of garbage. But let's watch it. Let's watch it. Why does Windows pop down my microphone? Buddy, if I had the answer to that, I'd be a rich son of a bitch. But, but I, don't, I have no idea. So we're here. We're going to do a review of uh, Banquet. Now, Von, you always talk about the meatloaf and the yeah, yeah, Salisbury yeah. steak. Now, I couldn't find the Salisbury steak, Von. Now, those are the smaller ones for a yeah, dollar. Yeah, what is going something. on with this? This is a tiny... Thing. Yeah, that's the smaller ones. That okay. Now those are a dollar something, and then the ones this I have a dollar twenty. Yeah, and the ones I get are are are, are two dollars and something. They're two dollars and something. Yeah, but so where do I find those at a supermarket or something? Because I went to Dollar right Tree right there next to those. It should have been right next they to went, those. The I went to Dollar Tree today, and th that's all they had was. Oh, these. that's all they had was them. They right. had the chicken pop up pie. Right, right. The chicken nuggets. Yeah. And the chicken sticks. Oh, okay. In the same size of this. Oh, okay. All right. So we have the banquet. We're going to try this. Now, I haven't had banquet in like, I want to say 15 years. I haven't had this <laughs> since I was a kid with my mom. Right, right, right. And my mom used to make this as a quick meal when she didn't want to make dinner. Right. She'd throw one of these in. Now, yeah. Vaughn, it says there's three ways of doing it. 
There's a convectional oven or a microwave. What do you normally do? I always microwave, dude. I you microwave. nuke it. Yeah. Yep, I nuke the shit out of it. Yep. Mm. Okay, so you so it says here two minutes on high. All right, now that okay. Now, how powerful is your microwave? Mine's a big fucking powerful microwave. Oh, your 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 microwave is eleven hundred uh, watts or more, right? Uh yes. Uh, okay. Gotta be at least yeah, right. eleven. Oh, okay, and it says how much time to put on it? Two minutes on high. Um, then it says stop and stir the potatoes, and then and then nuke it for another two minutes. Oh, nuke it for another two minutes. Okay, so four minutes. All right. Well, first of all, don't stop and stir anything because that'll just fuck Don't everything. skip the stop and stir. Yeah, just skip the stop and fuck stir. It, I okay. always do. So just put it do. in for four minutes and just throw it in four minutes. I I, 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 I puncture the, the plastic with a, with, a, with a knife. I just puncture the plastic with a knife and I throw that fucker in there for four minutes. And uh, that's the end of that. Well, turn one corner up, I guess it work. Yeah, that's what my mom used to do. Yeah, however you want to do it. It says I that it's actually made with it. real ingredients. Believe it or not, real yeah. ingredients. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, it's made with real ingre- real cream. Real mashed potatoes and real cream. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's one of the so reasons that, why it tastes good because yeah. it's made with real shit. You know. So for a dollar, let's see how good it is. I'm gonna put it in for how long you want me to put it in my oven? What did it say? Four minutes. Well, two minutes stir and then two minutes. Okay, now you're you Skip say you stir. You're, you say your microwave is extremely powerful, right? It is, yes. Way over eleven hundred, or at eleven hundred, or just shy. Let's say it was. Let's say if let's say it was, let's say if, let's say it was like a. Uh, let's say it was Larry. It could. It's. It's almost. Look at fucking Vaughn, the fucking TV dinner expert. He wants to know how many watts the fucking microwave is and shit. Come, give me a fucking break. It's like four Larrys. It's big. It's powerful. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Well, if it's like twelve hundred watts. See, but at, the, at see least eleven hundred. See the the numbers they use for the default is eleven hundred. If your com, I keep wanting to say computer. Damn. If your microwave is eleven hundred watts, then you want four minutes. But if it's okay. more, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. It says eleven hundred watt microwave. The directions right. are for eleven hundred watt microwave. Right. It does Correct. say that in the box. Okay. So yeah, it does. So what we need them, we need to we need to evaluate. Uh, you know, I would try. I would try. What I want to know is, it, 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 I want to know what you normally do. You buy one of these fucking trays, and what do you I do? Stab just... it with a steely knife. Stab throw it, it with a fucking thing. nuker, and it, and it's done. Yeah. How long do you usually put it in? Whatever it says. Okay. I always put it in. That's what we're doing. Says. Four minutes. Okay. Yeah. Four minutes. Four minutes. You've already opened up the corners. Four minutes, and we'll see what happens. But I, 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 and of course the dogs are going ape shit because some kind of drama is going. What's on. going ape? What's going? I ape? don't know. Some kind of drama. There's always drama going on, man. Doggy drama. There was a couple dogs oh. walked down the road the other day, and they was all having a big powwow out in the middle of the road. It's like, God. Now, Vaughn, you always brag to me about how good these are. Now you, you heard what it said. That. What's what's you. You what's read your, what it what's said? your rating on real one to ten, how 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst, the, the meatloaf, what do you think? Uh, the meatloaf, I, I always liked it. I'd say at least an eight, if not more, maybe a nine. Wow. Later now, is it better? Than, is, is the Salisbury steak better? I'd say it is, yeah. I, I, like to, I tend oh. to lean towards the Salisbury steak myself. But that's me personally. That may not be you. What are you guys doing with the water bowl in my bed? Hello? What, what's up with that guy? What, what, why? Why are you doing? You guys want some more? Oh, Nuka. The doggies are fighting. That's funny. It's cold out there. I can't believe the dogs want to go outside in that cold. Okay, let me see what you let me see what you got. Yeah, let me see the okay. Oh yeah, that is big. Now see, mine mine are bigger. Mine are the two dollar jobs, and yours the one dollar job. Now this here's the uh, the Swedish meatball. So we're gonna have we're gonna have the Swedish meatballs, and uh, of course that's real good too. We'll have the Swedish meatballs. I have the two dollar ones. You always have the one dollar ones.
wife's making homemade bread. Yum, 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 yum. If we're going to bring it out, we'll eat it. Castle and eat at the at the, at the uh, fresh trash White food okay. eaten by trash people. It says he would know he's trash. The microwave is <laughs> deepened, and I'm gonna go grab the microwave. Calm down, midnight. You'll get a bite. Don't worry. <laughs> Midnight's like, I want a bite. I want a bite. Oh boy, it looks like the good. Mm, I'm telling you, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, okay. Woo, look at that steam, baby. Yeah, oh, that's hot. I wish I had midnight get a lick the tray. <laughs> oh, wow. across the floor. That went sliding across. I did. I pulled. A, I pulled. A, I pulled a. Um, what was the? What was the? The the click dancer. The dancer with the you know dancing when you click. Uh, tap dance. Tap dancing. What was the tap dancer? Was that? Uh, was that Art Linklater? No. Well, no, not Art Linklater. Um. um I want to say Frank Sinatra, but I don't think he tap danced. Uh, shit, I can't think of it. Anyway, Fred Astaire. Maybe it's Fred Astaire. It's, it smells good. You definitely, you definitely don't get a lot for. I mean, you do get. I mean, okay, you don't get a lot of food, but right. for a buck, for a dollar, this yeah. is kind of a big piece of meat and a lot of potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's more. You you get more than if you went to McDonald's and bought a bur burger. Yeah. That's so I'm going to give it 10 points just for the fact that you get a dollar and you get a lot of food. How do you think I was able to stay alive on 250 a month? Is that what you're doing? You're eating these bad boys? I got to eat. I, I, that, when you only get 250 a month, what are you going to do for the other, the other three weeks? Right? Oh. So, yeah, I had to fucking buy them things. And, well, I bought the $2 version, but. <laughs> you doubled it where you could just cook. You could always do that. But what would change? If Von Helton won fucking 80 fucking million dollars tomorrow in some bizarro world where he gets everything he thinks he's entitled to, do you think he would change? He would still be sitting in that single wide eating microwavable dinners every fucking day, living like a complete fucking pig. It'd be worse because he'd be ordering stuff all the time. Still... The wife, now the wife says she can make better, so I I believe her. I think the well, wife. Well, I should believe do her, it. but I mean, you know. All right, let's give it a try. It doesn't look like a meatloaf. It looks more like a piece of steak. Um, I mean, it's, a meatloaf is kind of like, to me, a meatloaf is a um, a meatball that's like long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This looks more like a piece of steak. Well, well, we'll find out what you think. Let's see. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know what? It tastes good. It has a good taste to it. For some reason, it tastes different than what I remember. Yeah. You know what? I, can, I can see why you could live up, lived up to this for a month. What's that? I, I can understand why you live off of this. Why? It's good. Yeah, it's very good. It's made with real shit. Not made with processed stuff. It's made with real shit. Now, how many roti? One. The potatoes, though, I have to give you. I have to give the potatoes maybe a three. Yeah. So dollar store banquet meals, folks, are not processed food. That's that's not just formed meat and fucking you know, folks. There's no preservatives. Nothing in that. 
It tastes like package. It tastes like the stuff. Yeah, you get. it's it's a it's a mashed potatoes you get out uh, out of a bag, me. out of a bag or a box. Yeah, yeah, I would, say, I would go say box. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's the instant mashed potatoes. But hey, you know, now if I dip the mashed potatoes in the gravy and I get a little bit of the gravy in it, I bet that'd be better. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good little for a dollar. It's a good little meal. Yeah, it's not bad. New Mexico, 1912. Hey, dumbass, what part of I'm disabled do you not fucking understand? Well, he don't care about human beings. He's, he's, he's probably an abortionist. He probably kills babies. Yeah, he's probably killed ba- He's probably a baby killer. He's probably pro-abortion and baby killer, yeah. Probably, is. probably He probably supports old people dying in the nursing home. Well, yeah, he probably does. He probably does, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. So, so I, I, I did all right, man, huh? I, I, I didn't steer you wrong. You know what? It's pretty good for a dollar. It's not bad, is it? I'll buy that for a dollar. I'll buy that for a dollar, yeah. <laughs> from the movie, remember that? I'll yeah, buy that. it was from a movie. I, I don't remember the name of the movie, but I remember it was from a movie. RoboCop. Oh, was it RoboCop? Yeah. Was it really? I, yeah. I thought it was from RoboCop. I thought it was from an older movie than that, but maybe. Oh, not. maybe RoboCop got it from another movie, I think. Hey, more drama, yay. <laughs> get them, get them, crew, get them. Well, I, I wish I could lick this play clean. <laughs> I'll give it, give it, give it to, give it to Midnight and the crew. They'll, it'll be, it'll be spotless, man. <laughs> it'll be spotless within a second. <laughs> but I have, I have a feeling that the wife can make a better meatloaf. Well, yes, of course. I mean, well, you know, obviously somebody that's real good at cooking is going to be able to best that. That is for like if you get scammed by the fucking government and don't have no fucking money. That's right. what that's all about. You know, now like I'll I say was. this though, Vaughn. I'll say this. There's two critiques I have for the, about it. Mm-hmm. One, it's not really a meatloaf, right? Let's be honest. It's not really it's a not. meatloaf. No, it's not. Of course not. It's more like a, a. It's almost like it's almost like they took all the beef parts and they gr- they grinded it in a machine and made like a like a McDonald's paste out of it and they made like a a sliver like a, a slab, right? And right. they cooked it on you. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I, which whatever it is, what it is, right? And you know, and to the and the and the and the mashed potatoes, they're not they're not my best, but I I'll give that a solid I'll give it a solid six I'll give it a solid six point nine, yeah, almost mm-hmm. a seven. Mm-hmm. I would get I would have given it a seven if it wasn't if, if the potatoes were a little better. Well, you know, if you follow the directions and you stop it at two minutes and you stir the fuckers and. You know, and then you put it in for another two minutes. Maybe that will make, make it better. You think it make a difference? I don't know. I don't know. It might. It might not. I never have, but it might. Hey, babe. So, what are we having for dinner? Another wife made food, and uh, huh? Ground chicken meat and uh, pakora. What is it called? Pakora. She made pakora. So. Oh yeah, this is what she made. It, 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 they're like deep fried, um, deep fried. Um, what is it made out of? It's a chickpea, chickpea, chickpea flour, uh, spinach, potatoes, onions, and spices. And then she deep, she pours she she puts it in the deep fryer, and then right. she makes like little deep fried balls out of it. Right, right. So, so this is fucking actually hilarious because look at Fawn's face, right? Okay, so J Dubs does a mukbang eating slum food, like Vaughn eats, in front of him, and then shows after. Well, this is the type of food I get cooked. I'm gonna. Well, he eats leftovers out of the fridge, folks. But I'm just saying, you know, I think you get what I'm putting down. It's, it, it's kind of funny. Actually, that sounds really good. <laughs> We're gonna. We should have you. You know what? We. I really want to come down and visit you one day. So. I really want. I, you know, that would be very cool. I, yeah. I would really like that. that I really great. appreciate you hanging out on this uh, mukbang taste. Well, hold on, I'm. I gotta go get mine now. We're gonna. Oh, go okay. Go. okay. Let's compare it's yours now. Okay. Do we have the? Do we have that ketchup uh, mayo combination still? Let me see. How much is a cold to drink? 
Did you just hear that? It's exactly what I suspected. He doesn't want the ketchup mayo to put on something. He literally, that's his drink. He just said, I'm looking for a cold drink. Where's that ketchup mayo? Folks, he literally drinks the fucking ketchup mayo. That's what he eat. That's what he has with his meal. If you get what I'm saying. Want something cold to drink. Yeah, like cold. We have nothing cold to drink, cool. Dave. A few minutes. And then I'll go in there and get it. Oh, we got to let it cool a little bit. You got to let it cool a bit? Yeah. Now, what did you make? Swedish meatballs? Swedish meatballs. Now, mine is the $2 version. So it's I, Okay, I want to try Swedish meatballs. That sounds good. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, they're very good. Uh, yeah, man, they're real good. So, But I got to let it cool. I'm going to let it cool for a while, and then we'll go. I'll go in there and grab them. Uh. Oh, that's cold. I These like to the, cold. The, 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 the motherfucker. These two losers are lonely little boys. They need to eat on the internet so they have company and won't eat. Hey, dude. There you go, man. Come join yeah, us. That, yeah, they, 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 buddy, you pegged us, man. What can I say? You you pegged us, man. You, you got us for real. You, you, totally, you totally pegged us, man. That's right. Oh, you got us. Oh, man. Yeah, That's funny. Yeah. That's totally right, man. And the wife finished up the, the um, art today. She did a really good job. Oh, very good. You know, I found a painting in Fallout 4 that's very similar to the painting your your wife did. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the one oh, that yeah. I showed you with the landscape? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. It's a palm tree. It's a palm tree and the, the ocean and stuff. Looks almost like it, man. I was like, damn. The wife is thinking about doing X, X, um, setting up an Etsy shop or whatever it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. An What's Etsy store. An Etsy? Etsy store. Etsy. Etsy store, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Yep, she was man. telling me that people sell their vases for like $100 a pop. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't doubt it a bit. Setting up an Etsy store is a good idea. Does a doctor say you're disabled? Yeah. Yes, a doctor does. Actually, several doctors say I'm disabled. That was well, the whole damn brain, point. Anyone with a brain can think of that. Well, yeah. If you got lymphedema, you're disabled because you can't be on your feet all the time. Now, what's, now what's inside it? Uh, 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 spinach, you say? Spinach, potato, onion, and what else? Tomato? Yes. Tomato, onion, spinach, potato, and it and it's rolled in a chickpea flour dough, and then it's put in a deep fryer and then made into like a, a deep, like a like a um. Deep, Every like a one scoop, I just there. It's like a scoop. She takes a scoop of the mixture and then she puts it in the deep fryer. It's kind of like the um, carnivals where you get those um, what's what's that um shish kebab. No, uh, at the carnivals, they make those, um, what are they called? I don't remember. You see online on YouTube Pakora recipe, you see how the people make it. It's like carnival food. It's like carnival food. See, even, even the haters are saying it's, it tastes like my wife makes good food. New Mexico, 1912. I do not hate Muslims. I never once have said I hated Muslims. Get it right, you dumb fuck. I do not hate I don't hate anybody really except trolls and haters. I don't hate any I don't hate anybody. Now I don't particularly care for the ideology, but I don't hate people. I don't hate anyone unless right. they hate me first. I want to see the Swedish meatballs. How long are you gonna let it cool, Vaughn? I'm gonna let it cool a little while. A little bit. Mm. You will no, like I did not say. No, I did not say the Middle East should be nuked. No, I fucking did not. No, I did not say that. Show me the video. Show me the video right now. I might have said it. Sounds like something I would have said. <laughs> yeah, John, you might got John. John might have said it, and you got him confused with me. My nose is big because I'm an Indian. Mm -hmm. 
don't listen to them, Bob. I, I just just ban them, delete them. Very good. Yeah, he's annoying. Like he, he's being annoying. Sounds like a plan. Bye. Now, let's get rid of this one. Flintlock, I think, is... Um, Flintlock's okay so far. So far. You like deep fried food, right? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm. Yeah, I love deep fried chicken, man. Oh, my God, dude. I the wife said she wants to start a deep fried... Uh, a, a Kentucky fried chicken um, restaurant. She wants to or tries to? She wants to do fried chicken. Oh, she wants to do fried chicken. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's going to do it like... She can make anything. She, you could, you ask her for anything, she can make it. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm. How about pheasant under glass? I'll have to explain to her what that is, but once I do, she could probably do it. That would so piss off the trolls. That would piss off the trolls to no end. You know what, Vaughn? I'm gonna, you know what, Pez, uh, show, oh, the wife made this. Homemade homemade uh, pudding. Oh, wow. Whip cream. Whip, whipped cream and pudding and chocolate, chocolate. Pudding, chocolate, whipped cream. Right. And then this is like uh, chocolate balls that she put in. Right, there. right, right. Yeah, I know yeah, what the nuts, chocolate balls are. I've had those before. Nuts. Yeah, I've had the chocolate balls before. It's, it's crushed nuts, isn't it? Oh, crushed nuts rolled in chocolate, she said. I told you. See, I was so, right. Maybe. Okay. Chocolate. Yeah. Maybe. No, I mean that you make it. Yeah, you made it from scratch. I know. Mm -hmm. So, Babel, could you make pheasant on the glass? You know what pheasant is? No. She doesn't know what pheasant. It's a type on the glass. of bird. It's a type of bird. It's a type of bird. But I'll show her a video of it, and I guarantee you, she can make it. Oh, cool. Yeah, because that would piss off the trolls to know. You think so? And then I, oh, I'll, I know I'll, so. I'll somehow uh, get your food delivered to you. Do I know so? I don't think so. I know so. If me and you and her and and anybody was eating pheasant under glass, the trolls would absolutely blow. It would blow their fucking minds, dude. It would. It would blow their minds. So, well, next time we go shopping, I'll get all the ingredients. We'll make pheasant under glass. Sounds like a plan. Go get your squeezed meatballs. Yep, got to go get the Swedish meatballs. That's the Swedish. It look good. Why don't you put it away? Oh, got the other one that I had already. The one that I already ate from. Okay. And the man in fact said, "Everyone attack can I turn into a ballroom blitz." All right, it's <laughs> Swedish meatballs. Oh yeah, that actually looks good. It is good. <laughs> the gravy, especially the gravy, is just awesome. The gravy is awesome. Looks like midnight took a fucking dump on the fucking on a bunch of ramen noodles. I can't eat all that. Now, what type of cream sauce is that? Mm. Oh, baby. Mm. Speaking of tray cleaners, <laughs> there you go, right there, waiting on the tray. So what do you? So what do you got here, Vaughn? So tell me what it's about. Swedish meatballs, man. It's really, really good. Mm. Now, the why gravy. are they called Swedish meatballs? They made from Sweet. They, they're from they're Swiss or something. It's, a, it's, um, a, it's a Swiss. Swiss I guess it's a Swiss recipe. That would be my guess. But I don't get it. so. But they're known for what I don't get is that in IKEA. Do you want rice? Once no, I don't want rice. 
in Ikea, mm -hmm. back in the old country, they they sell that there at the furniture store. You know that, right? What's that? The Swedish meatballs. Yeah, you can buy. Yeah, you can buy a big bag of Swedish meatballs by themselves. That's and then crazy. You add, I, I don't know why they're so popular, though. Why is it so popular? I don't know. I don't know, but I know I'm I farting like crazy. Oh, well. You want this? It's a spicy meatball. I see some food gathering on the mustache again. I don't know. Um, I don't know um, why they're so popular, but they are. You buy the meatballs, you buy the noodles, you make your gravy, you cook your gravy, you boil your noodles, you cook your meatballs, and then you add all three together and bada boom, bada bing, you're done. Mm -hmm. I wonder what type of cream sauce they use for that, for the noodles. This is actually more of a gravy. It's more of a gravy? But it looked yeah, white. Gravy. It looked like a white gravy. No, 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 no. This It's dark. It's actually a brown gravy. But on the it's box, nice. it looked like it was white gravy. Well, the noodles are white. That's what Oh, that's what it was? Uh-huh. No, the gravy is actually brown. The gravy is gravy. But it's good. It's real good. Look at this. Look at this one, Vaughn. You're going to love this one. Mm. Rumor has it that John is secretly your number one troll and that he's with Andrea and all behind your back. Yeah. Me and Andrea is colluding together where, 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 where <laughs> I'm living down in Alabama in the mental asylum. I'm in cell block A. She's in cell block B. <laughs> How did you get it? How did you figure it out? You cracked <laughs> it there. You cracked the you cracked the um, code there. Yeah, man, you found us out, dude. It's actually every everything everything you're watching is actually not real. It's all a figment of your imagination. All the figment of your imagination. Rod, now, Rod, how Rod, how Rod, much do you like the uh, Swedish meatballs now? Rod, Rod Sterling is going to come through the door any minute, and he's going to blow the whole thing wide open. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Now, how much? Now, you say you like the um, Salisbury steak. Oh you, yeah. Meatloaf. Now, how much do you like the Swedish meatballs? Well, I like the Swedish meatballs a lot. Yeah, I like them all, man. I like them all. Uh, 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 I like the uh, sweet and sour chicken. I like Swedish meatballs. I like the rigatoni. I like the I like the uh, the uh, the uh, 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 fettuccine Alfredo, and I like the Salisbury steak, and I like the meatloaf, and you know I like them all. All right, the triple threat. There you go, guys. <laughs> Thing will be clean in about two seconds, under two seconds, I suspect. Fifty-five degrees, man. Got up pretty good today. Got up nice and warm today. Thank the gods. Praise be the gods from whom all blessings flow. Blessed be, blessed be. Ah. What about Irish stew? Um, I don't know. That would that I would I wouldn't mind uh, making some Irish. Stew. I I've never had Irish stew, so I can't really comment. I've never had it. I, that that I remember. <laughs> now I I've done. I haven't, haggis. Of, I, no. I haven't had haggis either. Praise the gods, because uh, I heard haggis. Like, uh, <laughs> you don't I like heard sheep, that shit. You don't like sheep I heard that shit was nasty. Is what I heard, man. It's boiled in. It's boiled in a real animal stomach, 
or some shit. Yeah. 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 Intestines. Yeah. Yeah. It's boiled in a real stomach and intestines. And then, and then, um, and, and then they do something with those it. Gaelic know. people, man, they'll eat anything. Uh, yeah. I think, they, yeah. Yeah. The fish stops swimming. They come around. God damn. But uh, I, you know, I don't know, man. I no, I've never had haggis. I've never had, um, the other. And, uh, so it's good, I guess. I don't know. Shit. I've heard of Stranger Things. Well, what Stranger Things? What Stranger Things have you heard? Well, me and collaborating with Andrea, I guess is what he's saying. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's, yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, um, Vaughn, what's your what's your cash app? My cash app is uh, dollar sign James Paul Von Helton. Everyone uh, donate today if you can. What's that one you're showing? What's that comment you're showing? That's a comment from one of the trolls. Still talking about uh, Islam. They've got a fetish about Islam, I guess. He's an idiot. So we're going to go. The wife and I are going to go. We're going to relax. We're going to enjoy our night. We went shopping. We went to the doctor. We went, mm -hmm. we went all over town. Mm -hmm. uh, shaking our little booty all over the place. Yeah, that'd be good. Now we're um, back home. We want to relax. I I picked those up and I said I gotta do I gotta do a review <laughs> of the meatloaf. Well, what do you think? Seriously, was it pretty good? No, it's good. It? I, I I would give I would have gave it a seven. I would have gave it a seven if the mashed potatoes were a little better. Mm, I'm a little well, disappointed maybe you could try the, the two minute stir. I gotta try. Minute. Maybe if I stir it, maybe if I add a little butter to it or and yeah, stir it a little maybe bit. add a little butter. Yeah, I don't know. I, I never did, but, you know, of course, I'm always starving and always needing food, so. Yeah. Um, perhaps Andrea is with John. Oh, God, really? Come on, dude. Yeah, I have Andrea in the, like I said, Andrea is in the next uh, mental hospital. I'm in this one. I'm in cell block A. And uh, <laughs> she's in cell, you know. Any, <laughs> anyway, Vaughn, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for doing the uh, test test. How, so no what about problem. the speech repos? You didn't tell us. Did you like them? What's the what's the ranking on the? Oh yeah, repos? yeah. Well, I you know I it's, I give it a solid eight. I give it a solid eight. Eight. Yeah, I give it a solid eight. Yeah. yeah. Of course, you know the 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 Salisbury steak is is a ten. The Salisbury so, steak is number one. Okay, I'll look for the Salisbury steak. Yeah, I really like it. You may not, but I love it. I think I'll try great. that. That'll be the next one I try. But see, like I said, you know, when you when when your when your food stamps go from five thirty five down to yeah. two fifty, all of a sudden out of nowhere, you know, you have to figure out ways of surviving. So you know, buying these TV dinners is is the only way to do it. It's the only way to right. survive. Because I, your wife can tell you, it's nothing to spend two hundred fifty bucks at the grocery. Nothing. It's right, nothing. it's nothing. Yeah, it's piece of cake to spend two fifty. Too easy to spend that money. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Vaughn knows he will never get his kids back. Oh my God, you guys are still harping on that shit. When, so when, when, he, kids, when, he, when we're in the locker running around the trailer and we're here laughing at you, then then that's it. Yeah, yeah. When face. the kids come home and we're laughing at you, then I guess that that when ends. We're eating. It, right? The wife will make pheasant under the glass, and we're all having a good time. And you're yeah. over there crying in the corner. Oh, dude, you you guys come down. She fixes pheasant in the native pheasant under glass. And, um, you know, oh, my God, the trolls would absolutely lose their fucking minds. They would lose their minds, dude. And you're sitting and spinning for some reason. When are they when are, when are the kids coming home? Hopefully, uh, hopefully the first of December. Hopefully the first of December. Why? Are you afraid or you're going to you're going to fall down dead or something if that happens? <laughs> you might die of a heart attack, but that'd be about it. Okay, John's sitting there spinning for some reason. There's no reason now that I have now that I have money and I have the property. I mean, I got a brand new house sitting over there. There's no reason to keep the kids from me other than just being a dick. So, you know, and they can't do that. Not legally, not legally, because I can get it. I can get that shit appealed. Yes, everyone needs to grow their own food.
and we need to dismantle all them damn wind farms that are taking up land. That's land that could be used to, to grow crops on. Okay, we need to get rid of all them wind farms. Whoever came up with the idea of wind farms hates America. And I can say that truthfully. Because you're taking up huge plots of land, or in, in the case of the Gulf, huge plots of ocean land. You're taking up huge plots of land uh, for these wind farms. And these wind farms are totally ineffective. What is effective, if you really want wind power, if you're serious about wind power, what is effective? What's effective is getting a small fan, attaching it onto your roof, hooking you up some car batteries in, in parallel, and storing up that energy, and then using that to run your house. That is real wind power. But see, they don't want to do that because that doesn't get them millions of dollars like these wind farms do. See, the wind farms is nothing but a money buggy, uh, uh, a money, uh, a money uh, uh, sink, a money trap. Okay, it's a way to get millions of dollars. And he says his PC died. Okay. Um, but yeah, man, um, the way to do this is to uh, the way to do it is to um, put everybody gets a fan and they put it on their house and then um, and then and quit it now. You guys stop. If you're going to wrestle, wrestle in there. But um, yeah, that's how you do a wind farm. You get it. You, you have everybody purchase a fan, purchase the batteries. And then, uh, you, like I said, you do a bunch of car batteries in parallel. You put your fan up on the roof, and then you wire the shit all up the way it's supposed to be wired. And then you, car and then batteries, you can run folks. your house off of that. But you don't take up land by use, by these w big wind vanes, which are totally ineffective anyway. It's good to raise and eat pigeons. They feed themselves. And the, and the school was paid by James Arnold Frost to lie in court that my kids had bugs in their hair. So, yes, it was by the Frost. Sorry. It was just by the Frost in a roundabout way. James Arnold Frost paid someone in Burning Springs to lie and say that the kids had bugs in their head. When the foster parents were forced to testify in court, they testified that there was no bugs in the head. Okay, so the, the people in Burning Springs were, li were lying. They lied because they were paid to lie. And they were paid by James Arnold Frost. That's who they were paid by. Okay, because see, if I ain't got my kids, he can try to take the land. See, that's what that's all about. It's about getting my land. The kids are not being adopted. Where are you getting that the kids are being adopted? We're going, we're going for, for a review, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get adopted now, does it? You're just wishing and hoping. You're wishing in one hand, pissing in the other, shitting in the other. Well, pissing in one hand and shitting in the other. How about that? Yeah, how does he know I didn't take care of my kids? Was he living here the whole time? It isn't December 6th, it's December the 1st. It's December the 1st, which is coming up in a week. And I will get the kids back, and that'll be the end of this shit, hopefully for a while. Well, see, that's the thing, uh, Guerrero. If I did half the shit they claimed I did, I'd be in the federal penitentiary. <laughs> I would have been there years ago, too. And, you know, it wouldn't be no reason that I'd have been there for years already. You know, I mean, they're saying I rape people and kill people and hurt my children. And, you know, if any of that was true, I'd be in the federal pen, man. I'd be in the big house, you know. So, yeah, it's all bullshit. But yeah, those wind farms are a joke. 
um, you know, you, I, I agree that we need wind fans, but each person puts a wind fan on their house and then they hook it up to the batteries and then they hook it into the, into the grid and into their home. That's how you do it. You don't take up huge swaths of land with these big ass wind farm, uh, that don't even do much. I mean, do you ever see them spinning much? I never do. I see them just barely spinning and it's like, yeah, that's a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. I mean, put a put a put a uh, put a put a little bit uh, a little fan on top of your house and see how fast it spins. <laughs> Fuckers, it's going ninety mile an hour. Okay, that them big wind fan uh, wind vanes are a joke. A wind farm a wind farm is a joke. It's a joke. It's all BS. All right. Um, I don't know if John is coming back. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let me see. What do you want? I, now, Dagnabbit, I just let you. I, I was just at the door. You could have went out. What you doing, Floppy? Going to come down. Everybody come down. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. Okay, I guess he's not coming back. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on, man. What? What are you hearing? What is going on out there anyway? I didn't see nothing. I didn't see, I didn't see anything. What? <laughs> All three of them is looking at me like, <laughs> what? 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 All right, calm down, y'all. All right, anyway. Look at that motherfucker. He come in with another account, another YouTube. Hey, YouTube, how's come you're allowing a domestic terrorist from the Honor Network to be on your service? How, how come that, how come that, YouTube? How come that? Do you, the Honor Network is a terrorist organization, YouTube. Are you coddling terrorists now? Tiffany Moser, Aaron Gray, and Doug McGuire are terrorists. They are with the Honor Network, H-O-N-R. Started by Lenny Posner, an actual terrorist organization. Why are you giving aid and comfort to terrorists, YouTube? Now, this son of a bitch has just been in here with five different accounts in less than an hour. It ain't even an hour yet. It's only been 45 minutes, and that fucker's come in with five different YouTube accounts, YouTube. And he's a real, live, domestic terrorist. Why haven't you reined this fucker in by now, man? How come? How come, YouTube? Inquiring minds want to know. Hmm. All right. Anyway, I don't think John's coming back, so we're going ahead and end it. Forty-five minutes and thirty minutes, thirty seconds. All right. Anyways, that's gonna do it. Y'all have a pleasant day and a better tomorrow, folks. Folks. Uh, bye bye. Folks, I think that's a good spot for us to leave it as well. Thank you for joining me this evening. Thumbs it up, all that good stuff, and you know the drill. If it happens, I'll do my best to cover it. Uh, I am a little busy this week, but you know, when the lulls come a calling, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, folks. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Get out of here. Thanks for joining. Have a good night.